Hello it's June here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know you're excited to know, when Windows 11 is released, and what new features are coming in Windows 11, and how it's look, as well as its performance. So stay tuned in this video, you'll get the answers about all the question related to Windows 11. So in this video, I am going to show you, how to install and use the leaked Windows 11, without harming your system. So let's get started. First I want to tell you, the ISO file of leaked Windows 11 is not bootable. So anyone on the internet who telling you, how to install Windows 11 using pen drive, so they are making you fool. So to install and use Windows 11, there are only two options are available, which are, you can install it via virtual machine or you have to upgrade it from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So let's get started. To install Windows 11 you have to carry this stuffs. An ISO file of Windows 11 and VMware Workstation or VirtualBox, the download links are given in this video description, you can download it from there. After downloading both files, first install the VMware Workstation. After installing VMware Workstation, open it by clicking on the desktop shortcut. Make sure the system is connected to the internet, before moving ahead to the installation process. Now click on Create New Virtual Machine. Now in window will open like this, here select Typical Recommended Option. Now click on Next. Now here, you have to select the installation source, to do that simply click on Installer Disk Image File. Now click on Browse, and navigate to the location, where you downloaded or copied the ISO file of Windows 11. Now select the Windows 11 ISO file, and click on, Open. Now click on Next. Now here select, Microsoft Windows, as guest operating system. And select Windows 10 x 64 version. Now click on Next. Now here enter the desired name for the virtual machine, or you can leave as it is. Now click on Next. Now create a virtual disk for the Windows 11 installation, I recommend you to create at least 40 GB disk space for the Windows 11. Now set the options as your requirements, hit your choice. Now click on Next. Now click on Finish. Now the Windows 11 virtual machine is created and ready to install. Now click on the green play button to start the virtual machine. It will take some time for starting, so please be patient. Now click in the black area, to give the input to the virtual machine. When you see message like this, simply press any key to boot in virtual machine. As you can see here, Windows 11 welcome screen comes up. It will take some time, so please be patient, I am fast forwarded this steps to save your time. Now the Windows 11 is loading, so please wait. For easy purpose, I am switching it to full screen mode. Now the Windows 11 installer is opened. Now set up your desired language, time, currency, and keyboard layout. Now click on next. Now click on install now. Now the setup is starting. Now click on, I don't have product key. Now select the addition from here, which you want to install, it's your choice. I am installing Windows 11 Pro. After selecting the addition, simply click on next. Now accept the license agreement of Windows 11. Now click on Next. Now select Install Windows only as installation type. As you can see here, only one partition is available here, which we are created during virtual machine setup. Now select this unallocated partition, and click on New. Don't do any changes in size, simply click on Apply. Now it is asking to create one more partition, simply click on OK. As you can see here, three partitions are created here. 
Now select the primary partition and click on Next. Now the installation has started, it will take some time, in my case it take 1 hour, so please be patient, I am fast forwarding the steps. Now the installation is done, and system is going to restart, simply click on restart now. Now the virtual machine is restarting, so please wait. Now select your desired region, and click on Yes. Now set your desired keyboard layout, and click on Yes. If you want to add second keyboard layout, then add it, or skip it. Now set up how would you like to use this device, select any options which you want. I am setting up it for personal use. After setting up, simply click on Next. Now sign it with Microsoft email account, or you can sign it offline. I am signing it with offline options. Click on Limited Experience, to sign in without Microsoft email account. Now set up the user account for the Windows 11. Now set the password for the user account. Now you have to set the 3 security question, so set it up. After setting up the security questions, click on Next. Now choose Privacy setting for your device. After setting up Privacy, simply click on Accept. Voila, Windows 11 is now installed successfully. So friends like and share this video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.